Hey guys, welcome to PCF. Uh, uh, this is Srinivas Pujari. So this is the continuation of yesterday uh, video. So in yesterday video, we discussed about the uh, current day and previous day and the variance and then growth. And also we have discussed about the uh, month as well. Okay, month over month uh, sales and then percentage growth. In this video, we are going to discuss about, okay, if you haven't watched that video, so I strongly recommend to watch that video, guys. Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss about the current quarter and then previous quarter variance and then percentage growth and then current year, previous year, variance and then percentage growth. Okay, the same source I have taken, like, uh, so I connected with the Adventure Works DW. Okay, Adventure Works DW and then I took only, so date and fact table. Okay, date and fact internet sales I have taken. So now what I'm going to uh, do now, so let's you know, take the total sales amount. So let's you know create one measure. So you can create a measure like total sales amount. So total sales amount. Okay. So this will give the, you know, if you go with the current uh, quarter, so it will go with the current quarter. If you go with the year, it will go with the current year. Okay. So that is like, so total will do sum of sales amount. Okay, sum of sales amount. You can select the sum of sales amount and then close. Okay, this is the total sales amount. Okay, first uh, we need to, you know, so first you need to do the, for current quarter, so we'll do the uh, total sales. That way we'll use the sum function. Okay, you need to aware about the sum function. And then for the previous quarter, we'll use the previous quarter function. And then variance, okay, current to minus previous, that is the difference, that is the variance, right? And then percentage growth, okay, percentage growth. Uh, so we have a formula, right? Uh, current minus previous, the variance divided by the previous into 100. That will give the percentage, okay, percentage growth. So let's we'll do that, okay? So we have uh, created the, you know, total sales amount. Now what we have to do, we have to go with the previous uh, quarter, right? So, pre so previous quarter, PQ. So that is a previous quarter. So calculate, so you can use the total sales amount, whatever we have used. And then table name is not required. Measure is not belongs to any table, right? So don't require any uh, table name in front of a measure name. So if you, uh, sometimes it will come like that. Okay, you can remove the table name. And then, so previous quarter, you can select the previous quarter. And then, so here, so you can go with the full date key. So in a date table. So let's close this. Okay, if you want, you can uh, shift enter. It will move to the next line and then enter. So this is the previous quarter. Okay, let me take that into one uh, visual, okay, full date key and uh, so total sales amount. You can take total sales amount and then, so you can go with the PQ. So previous quarter, PQ means previous quarter. So this is the, you know, um, uh, results okay so if you want i will i can zoom it so hope uh, it's clear i think so and now instead of day and then month we'll go with the quarter level so it will give the this is the quarter one sales and then this is the previous quarter so the quarter one sales okay and this is the previous quarter sales right guys i hope you are getting right so this is the previous quarter and this is the previous quarter and this is this previous quarter and this is the previous quarter so it's giving the previous quarter every time Okay, so now what we'll do, uh, we'll, what we'll do, we'll, you know, uh, create a variance, okay, variance, we'll create a variance now. Uh, so for variance, we can go and then create a new, uh, new measure, click on new measure, and then, so variance, or, you know, quarter over quarter, so Q, V, Q, quarter over quarter. So for that, uh, the total sales amount minus previous quarter so previous quarter so you can do that and then enter so that is that will give the variance q v q okay so that is the variance see uh, even you can do the calculator see there is no no something in the previous quarter so that is the reason it's giving here so so as this and then so <clears throat> Even you can uh, do the, even you can take a calculator and then you can do it. Okay. This will give the minus that is the variance. And then now, uh, so we'll do the percentage. Okay. Percentage growth. So percentage. 
equal to variance divided by the previous. Okay. So quarter over quarter, quarter over quarter divided by so previous quarter. So previous PQ. So let's PQ into 100. So guys, yesterday we discussed, okay, don't use the divide operator. It cannot handle the something divided by zero. So in that case, it will give the infinity. So that is the reason instead of using a divided by operator, we will go with the divide function. So divide. So let's select the divide function. So divide function uh, syntax is numerator comma denominator. So alternative results. Okay. Even uh, it's giving okay safe no so safe divide function with the ability to handle uh, divided by zero you can go with the i always recommend i uh, use divided function where you have a situation to use the divided by operator guys okay so that uh, whenever you have an infinity values okay it will you can give alternative results okay where you will get the infinity values okay you can go then then uh, replace with a zero okay so that uh, safe divided we can go for that and then into 100 okay into 100 this will give the you know percentage growth for the quarter over quarter okay percentage growth so you can select the percentage growth see so this is the percentage growth okay even you can uh, uh, even you can take any uh, numbers and then you can do the calculations it will give the percentage growth perfectly <clears throat> now We'll, you know, uh, we'll go with the year, uh, year over year sales and then previous year and then year over year sales and then percentage growth. The same way, so you can go with the uh, new and uh, uh, select the full date key, select the full date key and then uh, total sales amount and uh, you need to write a previous year sales amount okay so for that we have a you know previous year let me drag this here so we are going at year level right so just take um, you know uh, get rid of this you know month uh, quarter and so this is the year sales right then now we'll go with the previous year okay so previous year uh, so it is equal to calculate uh, you know, total sales amount, uh, comma, uh, previous year. So even previous year, you can go with the, you know, uh, this uh, previous uh, year function or else you, you have a same period last year also. We'll discuss in that in same period last year uh, also, okay? So here uh, in previous year, you can provide the full date key. Okay, that will, you know, same with the same period, we'll discuss in a, some other video. So you can go with that same period also. Now it will give the you know, previous sales amount. Okay, the previous year always move the dates to the previous years. So, and then do the sum of sales amount. Okay, so now you can go with the PY. So select that. So it's giving the previous year sales here. So this is the 2000, uh, we are in 2012. So what for 2012, what is the previous year sales amount? So this is the previous sales amount. So here is the previous sales amount, okay? So which is correct. We are getting the perfect results. Now we'll see the percentage growth. So same formula, so variance divided by, so if you want to do the variance, okay. So uh, year over year sales, okay, year over year sales is equal to total sales amount minus, total sales amount minus, Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. Uh, total sales amount minus previous year. Okay. And then remove this uh, not table anymore. We don't require this table name. And then enter. So this will give the year over year sales. Okay, year over year sales. Just select that. The variance. Okay. We are getting the variance perfectly. Now, what we'll do, we'll do the percentage growth. Okay. Percentage growth here so we'll do the uh, year over year sales divided by so we'll again use the divide function divide uh, and then mm, denominator is year over year sales year over year sales into 100 so if for the save divided you will go zero 
and then into 100. Okay, so that will that way. So percentage growth is already there, right? So that is the reason we'll go with the year over year percentage growth. Okay, year over year percentage growth. Select that. So what happened? Okay, sorry, you have to use that divided previous year, right? So, uh, so previous year sales. So yeah, that we forgot that is the reason it's giving. Okay, yeah. Okay, sorry. So this one divided by previous years is okay. So year over year sales divided by previous. Okay, divided by previous year sales, right? Not year over year sales again, it's a so comma previous year sales and then remove this one. Sorry, guys. So, this is the same formula for like what we have done for the quarter. So, uh, don't get confused. Okay, yeah. So, variance, uh, yeah. So, this is the way we can. So, but the thing is for quarter and uh, uh, year, month, and day, we have a time intelligence functions. But what about the week? Week, we don't have any, you know, we don't have any, you know, uh, intelligence. So, but uh, even, so we are going to, we, so people want to even uh, sometimes, okay, what is the current week sales and then previous week sales and what is the percentage growth for week over week? Okay, that will, um, no, that will I will make a video on tomorrow on that. So hope you are clear with this. Okay. So for week we don't have any time intelligence. So we'll create a video on that week over week. So wait for the video for tomorrow. Uh, thanks for your you know patience. So hope you like the video. Please hit the you know subscribe button if you watch the first time, guys. Okay. And uh, hit like button to encourage me and then comment me. Okay. So whatever uh, so whatever the comments you want to give so you can give a comment on that so so for encourage purpose you can give a you know, like like button so you can click like button and then so if you watch the first time please subscribe guys okay so we'll also create the more videos so for more videos uh, it will be very useful so for that you can subscribe my channel guys okay yeah thank you thank you so much uh, tomorrow i will create a week current week previous week and then week over week sales Thank you, guys.